quarterbacks that can yeah. do a lot of things out there. I was, I, I was you like this extra time or based off of the emotion on Saturday to, to get back out there this week? Yeah, um, I mean, we really don't we don't take bye weeks here. Uh, we definitely been working hard and we're going to work hard all week and uh, definitely try to perfect uh, our game plan as much as we can. So, I mean, we're out here working hard, trying to get our bodies back, but uh, still trying to get the mental aspect of the game ready for this week. I know, DJ, the last couple of games, the run game hasn't been playing at the caliber you used to. How frustrating has it been for you personally? Uh, it's been frustrating, but I mean, I, I just think that's, that's why it's a team sport. Uh, Mike has been doing a great job out there, and uh, I definitely take pride in uh, the run game, and we definitely got to step it up, especially in this next couple of weeks. And uh, I definitely uh, just got to stay at it, and uh, I think it'll be there. So it must have been a pretty happy household over the weekend. I mean, you know, oh, yeah. everybody had a good game. Oh, yeah. Jordan had a hell of a game, uh, Mike, and even Ellis. I mean, it was great to see my roommates and uh, friends go out there and play, play uh, great games uh, up to their potential. It was definitely a pleasure to watch. You feel the last few weeks maybe even made you a better wide receiver than you were coming into the season? Uh, no, I mean, I think I've always been, I, I've always worked hard at the slot and receiving stuff. I mean, sometimes some games, I mean, I, I definitely have to step it up out there. I mean, when I can and just, I just try to go out there and just make plays and just help my teammates win. You know, wide receiver, it's, it's not Jalen Strong anymore. Now you have Cam Smith as a legitimate number two wide yep. receiver. That makes your job easier in the passing game. Most definitely. I mean, even young guys like Ellis, Gary Chambers, I mean, he's not young. And then Freddie, uh, Fred Gamage, I mean, I, I'm so proud of our receivers, how hard they come out here and work throughout the week of practice. And it's definitely showing off during the game days and uh, they definitely are making plays out there. You might have been asked this already, DJ, but what that split second when you saw Jalen, what, what was your... It was unbelievable. I mean, just, just being right in front of him, and uh, I lost the ball in the air, too. I'm looking for the tip back. I mean, that's kind of my job in that play, and uh, I kind of lost the ball, and I saw Jalen on my right kind of make a plan and come across, and just, just right in the money, and it was it was unbelievable to see that. I mean, it was definitely an incredible feeling, and uh, so, something that a lot of people have never experienced and probably won't ever again. As a veteran guy, what does that do for this team? Great confidence. I mean, I think that was that really was a must win in, in my opinion and stuff, and I, and I think statistically it was. And I think that uh, it gives us a great confidence going to this bye week and stuff, knowing that we, we do have character I and mean, we do have a passion that, I mean, that's that's hard to stop when you get 11 guys out there playing like that. So, I mean, I think it gives a lot of confidence going to the next week, and uh, we just got to prepare and just uh, keep working hard. People remember the Hail Mary, but there were so many other play, big plays there in the final couple minutes that uh, made it possible to have that. Yeah, those last uh, kind of, that last five minutes, just seeing the catches, I mean, the, the poise that Mike had at, at the quarterback position was unbelievable. I mean, just to, just to lead the team down there and making those passes to Jalen, he had about six different receivers on the last couple of drives. So, I mean, it was definitely an unbelievable thing and an unbelievable feeling. You know uh, Jordan pretty well, obviously. Yeah. Did you see this coming from him at all? I did. I, I, to be honest, I did. I, I've never seen someone work so hard in the off season, and, and we knew his potential. I mean, he just needed to believe in himself, and I think that at each week he's getting better and better. I mean, obviously, statistically he is, and just coming out here being a leader. I think each week he's getting better and better, and he believes in, in himself more and in his playmaking ability. And I think sky's the limit for him. I think he's, gonna, he's a great safety. He's going to continue to get better. He seems to, to like the attention. How do you think he's handling this he's, uh, success? He's handling it well. I mean, uh, he definitely has a. Uh, a lot of good roommates to humble him and stuff. So we're always on him and stuff. But uh, he's a great person. He's a great, uh, a great friend and a, a great teammate. So I mean, we have no worries about him. He's he's definitely he's a, a great person. DJ, what went through your mind? I got in a little late, but what went through your mind when Jalen snatched that ball out of midair, man? It's just it was unbelievable. I mean. Like I said, Mike said, we, he, we practiced that play at least 60 times since I've been here, and you never think it comes down to that. And then the final thing, I mean, we, he, Coach uh, Norvell called that play, and it's I mean, something we practice all the time just to see just to see it executed like that in that fashion. I mean, it was unbelievable just to see Jalen come across and just, just right in his hands. I mean, it, look, it looked like Mike threw a direct bullet to him. I mean, it was perfect. I mean, I, and I think that shows, I mean, how much heart and passion we had. Just those last five minutes, just the drives that we put together and the precision, the poise that Mike used and just the, our, our, the young receiver stepping up. I mean, it was really a storybook uh, kind of end. It really was, and it really teaches you guys firsthand the mantra of play every play, doesn't it? It really does. I mean, and, and even guys that haven't been playing all game, that when your number's called, I mean, you got to go in and make a play. You got to step up and make a play. And I, I thought everyone did that to perfection that, that those last couple of drives. Talk about what this win can do as a momentum booster as you move forward to such a huge game mm -hmm. with uh, a Stanford team that got you twice last year. It's huge. Uh, I, I think that uh, it, it shows our team that, I mean, kind of sky's the limit right now. I mean, we just got to keep working hard. We just got to come into this next week. I mean, not really take this week off. I mean, it is a bye week. I mean, yeah. we definitely need to get our bodies right, but just definitely get ahead this week and just mental aspect of the, day, of the game and just uh, make sure that we're kind of making every day to the best, to most of our ability. I can't imagine a team you'd want to get more than Stanford after last year, huh? Exactly. I mean, uh, coming into our house again, I mean, 
remember last time we played them, I mean, it was definitely a, a, a crazy game. So, I mean, we definitely have a chip on our shoulder. But, I mean, we just got to come out here and work hard and uh, just kind of perfect the game plan as much as we can with this extra couple of days to work. What did it mean to you for one of your roomies, Burko, to have the game he had? Uh, oh, it was great. It was unbelievable. It was just Jordan as well. I mean, yeah. and yeah. Ellis too. I mean, all three of them. I mean, they came out there and did their part and played, played with so much heart and passion. And, and that's one thing that I mean, I think that uh, reflects this team this year is just our passion and as, as a heart as a team. And we played together all four quarters, and it was just an unbelievable feeling and a, a great moment. Cool, buddy. After after the game, how many text messages were waiting for you on the phone? I didn't have too many, but uh, I definitely was sitting next to Jordan. He had a he was getting blown up in Mike. So I mean, <laughs> it was it was great. Though. I mean, I, I'm so happy for my for this team and just just, just to see my roommates and my friends and just all these guys just have success like that. I mean, there's no other greater feeling than that.